Welcome back to the vlog? First video of the year, I wanted to make something. I haven't vlogged in so long, I've forgotten how to vlog. First video of the year, look at this mess. We are packing up, we're about to move. I think we have two weeks here, uh, and then we're about to bounce. But before we go, I wanted to share a video with you today. Today's video seems kind of crazy because I bought a coffee machine that's $500. You gotta drink a lot of coffee, right? And I can't, I kind of, if you kind of know me, you know I'm a, I like to do things all the way if you're gonna do it, you know, go all in. But if you know me, you know I really like coffee. And so I've been drinking a lot of coffee. I had some coffee today, but I haven't had coffee recently. So if I see hyped, that's just how I am. So anyway, good coffee is important and getting good coffee is not always easy and it's a little bit pricey. So I have a little corner store and they make great coffee, but when I was kind of doing the end of year math on the amount of coffee that I'm drinking and uh, yeah, I'm like, well, let's let's get a coffee for, for, for the holiday gift. Let's get, a, let's get a coffee maker. So I got on Amazon, because that's what you do. I did my research and this was the one they said to buy but they were like, it's $500. This beast, the Breville, the Breville, Breville. And I'm like, when I got it, I'm unpacking it, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, where would, it, where would a good coffee maker come from? If you were like, if you had to pick like a place in the world like that, that had great coffee, where would you go? You know, like Italy, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe France, maybe, I don't know. I would think English, probably not. Maybe they're better with the tea. Maybe like, uh, Maybe Hawaii, maybe somewhere that has like a mountain region that grows coffee beans, like Jamaica even. Look at this. Look at this little tiny little design and engineered in, in Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. That's my hometown. So it's not an unpacking video, not an unboxing, not an unveiling. Just simply just want to show you how awesome this coffee machine is. And and the $500 that I spent on this coffee machine, was it worth it? Let's, 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 let's. Uh, let me show you the machine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. So, turn it on. One of the, one of the really cool features out of all of this is, is this, this thing here, the hopper, the hopper of beans. So it grinds the beans down to here, and then you go crazy with the machine. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling like a little coffee. So let's make a cup. So I, I like to drink Americano, which is an espresso with water. So we'll, we'll throw that down real quick. So pretty much we just turned on the machine, hit the button. It's gonna warm up, it takes a minute, maybe two. I get some hot water boiling for the Americano. <laughs> Okay, so what we did, we ground. We hit the go button, ground us up some fresh beans, and now we have to press it down. Off to the side, oh, water's boiling. Off to the side is the little, little, has a name, tapper, temper, tapper. Comment below if you know what it's called. This little thing to push it down. This is, I got a little storage, little storage compartment where it sits right there. So we ground the coffee, it's sitting there. We're gonna need a glass. Glass. So we gotta push this down and compact it a bit. Our tapper, temper, temper tapper thing. Get all that coffee in there. Oh yeah. The key is pressure, man, you gotta squeeze it. You gotta squeeze it. It's all about pressure. I knew this was a really cool coffee machine when it came with this. So the blade runs over the top. That way it kind of like evens out or takes out anything that wasn't supposed to be there. Kind of cool, I don't really use it. Short story, long story. The review that I read on Amazon, the first review, the number one at the top, the one's like verified purchase, this is the review, was very thorough about this machine. You should go read that review. In that review, it was, not only was it important for you to buy a coffee machine, but to buy paper cups and the accoutrement that goes with the paper cup, the sleeve and the lid, Amazon also has those. Because in, in, in today's world, as much as I would love to recycle, I do not want a car full of cups and I can't, I just can't de deal with that on a daily. That's one of the greatest things about grabbing coffee and going is the paper cup. So I invested in some paper cups and I think you probably should too. You can comment on that if you feel 
that that is not a good idea. But so far for me, that's really helped me. So here we go. Coffee's ground, hit my go button. Check out this pressure gauge. Come on pressure. Let's go. Anytime you're making espresso, you want it just to be anywhere in this in this in this band, ideally kind of in the middle. So, we're... oh, look at that! Just looks so good. It's probably a lot of misinformation in this video. That's it. That's the espresso. That's the double shot. And then, if you really want to, you could add a bit of hot water to it, and then that would make that the americano. You got the steam option over here, so you can make other beverages, not just espressos. You can make your cappuccino, you can make your latte, whatever you like. But the other companion piece was the, also made by the genius Australian engineers, is the Breville knockbox. And the knockbox, this is just what it sounds, you take off the espresso and then you knock. And then you're mostly clean. I've had the machine for a couple of weeks, starting to get used to it. It took me a, just took me a couple of tries to, to get the grind level right, like the amount of grind that you adjust, the fineness you can adjust on the side, and then the amount of coffee that comes out suggested here. Other than that, it's single shot, double shot, and the filter size. And with this machine, it comes with accessories. You can use pods if you don't want to grind. That's weird. I think that was Ruka. Time to wrap up the video. Time to drink the coffee. Looks so good. Maybe the next time you see us, we'll be moving. Maybe the next time we'll already be gone. But until then, comment below with how you drink your coffee. How about that? Thanks for watching this one. Until the next time, it's Pura Vida. Peace. I haven't made a video in a while. It's hard to like put all this together. So.